Hey, my name is the Mayhem here, and if you haven't already guessed, today's video is about the Wired Hatters, and today we are focusing on the Ultimate Marauder. Check out this device. So Billy Green found the Wired Hackers was kind enough to send me this device, and um, today we're going to have a quick look at it and get a bit in depth of what it can do. So this device is a dual ESP32 device that runs Marauder. So this is a dual ESP32 device made up of a ESP32 Vroom and a ESP32 W Rover. This device has also got its own dedicated GPS in there with a toggle switch to switch between the two. So let's actually have a look at what the device has got on there. So let's first off start with this peel. Beautiful. So on the device itself, we've got this lovely touchscreen. We have got the toggle that allows us to switch between the GPS between each ESP32 board. We have got our SD card slot here. We have got two antennas on either side, one for each ESP32. We've got an SMA adapter underneath this little piece of plastic that I've put on to protect it for the GPS. On the back of the device, we have got our reset and boot buttons for our ESP32s, and we've also got our screws for undoing the case as well. Underneath this nice little stand, which is great for helping your device stand up, you can see that there is some GPIO pins here, so you can actually plug this straight into your flipper and the device will gain power through your flipper and can be controlled by the Marauder app, like so. Which is absolutely cracking. The other thing that's really cool about this device is it also works as a standalone device, so you can actually put on this little bottom plate. We can actually plug our USB into the top USB here and our device will come alive. So there you go, there is our ESP Marauder screen, and as you can see here, we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, my device, and then we've got our reboot settings here. This device also does come with a stylus, but one of my children has nicked it, but luckily you can still use your finger to actually navigate this display. What's really cool is it's down to go down, up to go up, middle of the screen to select. So really, really simple navigation tool. So it doesn't actually let you touch where you want to touch on the screen. You have to actually look at these little markings either side and it signals out three little buttons that are on there. So down button, up button, select button. Really, really simple. So as you can see here, this can do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, the device settings on there as well, and a reboot button. Inside of our Wi-Fi, we've got sniffers, scanners, wall driving, and attacks, and then general. And we've also got our back button. Inside our Bluetooth top menu, we've got our sniffers and Bluetooth attacks. Inside GPS, we can see our GPS data, our NMEA streams, our GPS tracker, and our GPS POI. In device, we can see the update the device, save and load files, language, device info, and our settings. And then of course our reboot button will reboot the device itself. Now, if you want to look at a video to go into all of the features of Marauder, my good friend Ark has just done an absolutely amazing job of showing every feature and every aspect of it. And I'll link that video. There's no point in me doing what he's already done such an amazing job of doing. So if you want to learn more about how the Marauder firmware works, go check out his really awesome video. He's such a great guy. So not only can you use this device standalone with the actual screen, you can also plug in your flipper, like I said. And then from our flipper here, we can actually move through our menus and get to applications. And we can also use our Wi-Fi Marauder alongside. So we can set one thing going off on this part of the ESP and change it on here. And like I said, to change where the GPS is going between each device, we just do this toggle on the side here. What's also really cool is actually the whole thing can be powered off the flipper. So you don't need to worry about taking your own battery. So you can actually have one handheld device that is doing all of your Wi-Fi with two SPs at the same time, as well as being able to actually run other attacks at the same time. One of my favorite things to do on this device is actually wall driving. So if we go to Wi-Fi here, and then we come down to wall driving, the ceramic GPS unit in the back of here is absolutely phenomenal. So basically what this will do, this will start scanning Wi-Fi devices in the area and it will equip them with GPS and MAC addresses and then it will then actually store those onto the SD card so you can see what security settings are set up on what device and being able to actually look for exploits that could be used. Really, really cool. The next thing that I actually want to show you is the inside of the device. So this device is really, really well made. As you see, the quality of the 3D print is absolutely phenomenal. Nothing has been missed here at all. But the thing that you don't tend to see is actually the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all of these antennas. 
we are going to remove that foot plate and then we're going to remove these three screws so I can show you the PCB inside. So to actually get into the device, you need to have two different size Allen keys, one for this top small screw and one for the two screws down the bottom. So let's just get these undone. Just swap Allen key size. And we should be able to pry our case apart. So this is what I really like about Billy Green stuff at the Wired Hackers, and that is the attention to detail. So Billy sent me a full res picture of the actual PCB, and it's this really, really cool dark phoenix pattern. But what's really nice is you can see that every single joint has been done with love, care, and attention. So I'm just gonna zoom in here quickly. So as you can see, attention to detail where people aren't even paying attention. Every part of the device is absolutely stunning with due care and attention to all of it. And it's these sort of things that I really think make the difference between cheap clones and the real deal. And like I say, this ceramic GPS um, is one of the best GPSs that I've worked with so far. This picks up really, really quickly where a lot of other ones that I've had from such like uh, Lilygo really, really struggled. So just so you can see here, you can see our two ESP32s. We can see our pigtails that go to our SMA adapters. We can see our GPS coming out here, our USB charging and our GPS toggle here. Uh, you can also see once again our little reset and reboot buttons that are on here too. And like I said, we have also got that external SMA adapter. So if you've got one of those big chunky boys that you want to put on top to get that even better GPS connection, you can also do that. I always think it's worth just kind of giving credit where credit's due when there's such beautiful artwork and such beautiful craftsmanship put into a device, even in places where you don't necessarily see it. So that's about all I want to say about this device. Really, really well made, absolutely beautiful craftsmanship and absolutely phenomenally useful. Like I say, if you want to learn more about the Marauder firmware, go check out Ogs video in the description. It really does just cover every single aspect of it and just makes a much better job than me doing it separately in different videos. And once again, thank you so much, Billy Green, for sending this out to me. And I know that me and the rest of the community are really looking forward to seeing what work you've got coming out soon with the ESP C5. Hope you found this video useful. If you are looking for a dual ESP device, this is the way to go. Go check out the Wired Hackers website, link in the description. Thanks very much. Happy hacking. Catch you next time.